Musk has two major businesses, one is Tesla and the other is SpaceX. Everyone already knows that Tesla is an electric car company. In the field of electric vehicles, China has become the world's largest market and BYD has surpassed Tesla in sales this year. However, in the field of space exploration, Musk's SpaceX is still the world leader. Among them, the Starlink satellite internet led by SpaceX has begun to take shape and has become the most important stable network provider for the Ukrainian army during the Russian-Ukrainian war. If SpaceX cuts off the supply of the Starlink network to the Ukrainian army, the Ukrainian army's communication advantages will be gone. The Starlink project started on February 22, 2018. Today, the number of Starlink satellites has reached 3,108, making it the largest satellite network in the world. According to the Starlink plan, SpaceX will launch 12,000 satellites into space by 2024 and will eventually launch 42,000 satellites. Regarding the impact of Starlink on the world, I believe you should have heard of it. Here, I will briefly summarize it for you. First of all, Starlink plans to seize more than 70% of the world's low-Earth orbit resources and expand the United States space hegemony. After SpaceX has launched 42,000 satellites, there are almost all Starlink satellites in low-Earth orbit. If other countries want to launch new spacecraft, they must first notify SpaceX of the United States to let Starlink give up its orbital position to avoid space collisions. As a result, a large area in low Earth orbit will become SpaceX's private airspace. Second, Starlink can act as a cheap offensive space weapon. The Starlink satellite is an extremely cheap satellite with a single cost of only $500,000, but it can hit China's Tiangong space station, posing a great threat to other countries' spacecraft. Third, it can build the U.S. space version of the global anti-missile system. We all know that intercontinental ballistic missile system must first fly out of the atmosphere, enter low Earth orbit, and then return to the Earth, and finally launch a lethal attack on the target. However, SpaceX deploys 42,000 small satellites in low Earth orbit, which is equivalent to 4.2 missile interceptors. This can greatly enhance the anti-missile interception capability of the United States against intercontinental ballistic missile system in a global nuclear war. So, why doesn't China follow in the footsteps of SpaceX in the United States and develop a Chinese version of the Starlink project? In my opinion, there are three main reasons for this, which are what we will discuss in this video. Hi! Welcome to Hot Topics Time, a channel to interpret news from a new perspective and explore the wisdom behind the news. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. Why doesn't China follow in the footsteps of SpaceX in the United States and develop a Chinese version of the Starlink project? First, it is because of the cost. The cost of Starlink satellites is extremely low, with a single cost of only $500,000. Not only is the cost of satellites low, but also the cost of launching them. The combined cost of manufacturing and launching satellites is only $500,000. No country can surpass this cost advantage in the world. This is an area where the US rarely leads China in terms of cost in the Sino-US industrial competition. Relying on the first mover advantage, SpaceX directly mass-produces tens of thousands of Starlink satellites. The scale advantage is huge, and the cost is the lowest in the world. The second is because of technology. SpaceX successfully developed the world's first recyclable and reusable high-thrust rocket, the Falcon 9. This is the world's most powerful heavy rocket in active service, and it has launched 143 satellites at a time, setting a new record. The cost of a single launch for Falcon 9 has dropped to $43.4 million, the lowest in the world. However, the cost of a single launch of China's Long March 5B heavy rocket costs 100 million US dollars and cannot be recovered. So, can China launch satellites regardless of cost in order to seize space resources? In my humble opinion, even so, China still can't beat SpaceX. The record for the number of satellites launched by China at one time was set by the Long March 8, with 22 satellites in one arrow. 
but the Falcon 9 can launch hundreds of them at a time. In addition, it can be recycled after it is sent, and it can be launched after replacing parts. 2022 is just over 10 months away, but Falcon 9 has already launched 32 times, basically three times a month. Falcon 9's recyclable reuse technology gives SpaceX a huge lead in both cost and efficiency. The third is because of the market. The United States is a sparsely populated country, and its population density is much lower than that of China. If 5G networks are deployed in rural areas, the cost will not be recovered at all. But China is different. Eastern China is highly densely populated, and the user coverage density of a single base station is much greater than that of the United States, enabling low-cost, high-coverage coverage. This allows Chinese companies to focus more on building 5G networks, and the speed of marketization is extremely fast. And the money China Telecom makes in the eastern region can be used to subsidize the remote and backward rural areas in the central and western regions, so that farmers can also use the 5G network. The United States is a capitalist country. If there is no profit in the countryside, no one will build 5G. This leaves the first batch of users for Starlink. Starlink deploys satellite internet, which directly breaks all geographical restrictions, allowing American farmers in remote mountainous areas to share the same network with American citizens in New York. In addition, the United States allies around the world, such as Japan, the United Kingdom, Germany, Canada, New Zealand, the Netherlands, Belgium and other 44 countries around the world, have opened Starlink network services. However, China, Russia, Iran and Afghanistan were blacklisted by Starlink. As a businessman, Musk naturally hopes that the more users the better, but obviously, the US military is the real boss behind SpaceX. Although Starlink's current maximum broadband speed is only 300 million bits per second, far behind the 1,000 megabits per second 5G network. However, with the continuous enrichment and improvement of Starlink satellites, its network speed is also increasing, posing a major challenge to China's 5G network. It can be seen from this that the innovation power of American technology is still very strong. East Asian countries such as China, Japan, and South Korea are generally good at the gradual innovation model, but the United States often uses subversive innovation to open up a new track. In fact, China has also proposed a domestic version of the Starlink plan, namely the Hongyan Constellation Satellite Communication Plan. However, due to the reasons mentioned above, the propulsion speed of China's Hongyan satellite cannot keep up with Starlink, and the planned number of satellites is only 300. It can guarantee civilian needs, but the military value like Starlink is difficult to exert. This may be the fundamental reason why China wants to develop a near-Earth asteroid defense system. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news, we will see you in the next video.